Called a guy in Australia who recently had a heated altercation with an Indian cab driver. They got stuck at a traffic light and were screaming insults at each other. I got a ton of background information about him and called as the cab driver. I made him think that I somehow tracked him down. This prank is insane. Hello? Yeah, hello. Can I talk to Cameron, right? Yeah, that's me, mate. Okay, excellent. Uh, you drive the black Ford Monday, right? Yeah, who is this? Yeah, you are the motherfucker who give me finger, right? I'm the cab driver. Sorry, mate, who is this? My name is Rakesh, and you give me middle finger and cut me off. Mother Yakar, I got your license plate number, talk to my cousin, and we backtraced you, right? So I find your number, I want to talk to you to see what is your problem and why you are so disrespect. I'll tell you what, Rakesh, you want to meet up, mate, we'll talk a bit more about it. Okay, let's meet up at 3 Street, how about that? What do you mean 3 Street? At your fucking house, bitch, that's what I mean. Let's do it. How do you have my address? I told you, Mother Yar, we are very well connected and I don't no, appreciate that. you have my address? Don't, you don't want to know what else I have about you, okay? So don't fuck around. Mate, you've got it all wrong. Okay, license plate number ZY. I don't two. care what you got on me, Okay, mate. great. So you want to, can I come right now or are you home or when do you want to talk about? You come anywhere near my house. Yeah, what are you going to do? And you will never make a phone call in your life again. Okay, I doubt that, okay? I will show you a world of pain you have never felt it in your life, right, okay? So don't talk about. One Tell way, me where you want to meet. I want to meet at street that's the only place i want to meet you want to come over tonight yeah you we can talk about it over some coffee maybe one cigarette we're not taking the coffee mate you Why? come over tonight be my house at 10 o'clock okay all right great so i want one sincere apology from you right now i beg your pardon no you come to my house and no, we'll talk about it. no i want apology right first i want apology say rakesh you i am sorry, apology, I, mate. I don't even know who you are hello rakesh i am asshole guy and i'm sorry for my asshole behavior i won't do it again and i will respect the indian taxi drivers Mate, I've got plenty of friends who are taxi drivers. Why do I not respect them? Yeah, because I do research about you and other people told me, yeah, this guy has been rude to us too, right? Right. I don't know what you're talking about, mate. Okay, well, I don't right? know why you want to talk about Rakesh? Come to my house at 10 p.m. tonight. You know where I live? I'll see you at 10. Okay, but right? can I talk to Madeline about it? Who's Madeline? I don't know. I was just wondering. Who am I speaking to? I told you, Rakesh. Alright, Rakesh. Come to my house at 10 p.m. tonight. You know where I live. Yeah, okay, look. But are you going to recompensate me? Can I turn on my meter and you can compensate me for the drive? You can forget it, mate. You come to my house at 10 p.m. Yeah, but you have to see. I'm going to waste my money when I can talk to you on telephone and get apology. <laughs> <laughs> he called the cops at this point, and they were supposedly trying to subpoena the phone number on the caller ID. I called his friend who set up the prank, got some more information about him, changed the caller ID, and called him again. Hello? Yeah, hello. It's Rakesh again. Rakesh, why are you calling, mate? Yeah, I want to get my apology. I'm still waiting for it. All right. Do not call me or do not come anywhere near my house or my girlfriend. Yeah, but I don't understand. Oh, I swear to God, mate. What? You swear what? I'm not going to make any threats like you have, mate. No, I know. I just man up a little bit. You, you are so tough right in the car to flick me off right and put finger. I just want to know. I mean, I can still come tonight, but you know, I just want to make sure you at least, you know, move the rubbish outside of the garage in the blue Subaru so I can park, right? You don't come near my house. If you okay. come near my house, I'll tell you what, mate, we won't be leaving it. But does Sandra know that you're so, like, rude to people or not? Who's Sandra? Motherfucker, you know exactly who Sandra is, okay? You want to play dumb? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I do not know who or what you're talking about right now. Okay, maybe I can ask Amelia or Claire. Maybe they will know about it. Who is this? <sighs> who is this? You're being very difficult. I asked you to repeat the prompt, but you don't want to do it. Look, let me tell you the dialogue, okay? Hello? I am very sorry about what I did to you, and I will respect the Indian drivers. They are more entitled to be on the road. Thanks. This has nothing to do with race, Rakesh. Listen, get off your high horse and repeat what I said, Mother Yakar. Rakesh, if you come anywhere near my place or anyone that I know... Listen, you tough guy, you're not going to do shit, okay? Stop getting all this I am tough guy. You're a piece of shit, and I will step on you, okay? No, so I'm, I'm, asking, I'm asking you where you are right now, because I'll jump in a cab right now, and I'll come and meet you right no, now. No, no, I no, do, I don't want you to have to take off last minute at work, right? The bank needs you, so... No, you I'm not just taking leave. any time off work, mate. Yeah, my I, manager knows what's going on, mate. Where are no, you? So, so the manager at the bank, he's cool with it? He's okay with it, or what? I beg your pardon? I can come to the bank if you want me to come there. You want me to do that? Come there right now. I'll meet you downstairs. All right? Okay, all right. But you still haven't apologized to me yet. Say that first, then we can have a handshake and maybe like I will bring you a cup of tea. We can mend our problems. Where about are you? Mother Yakar, are you going to say it or not? No, I'm not going to pop it, Rakesh. Okay. If you want to come meet you right, now, all right. I'll come down Is, is that your final answer? That's fine. Okay, all right. Well, I guess now we move on to stage two. Yeah, and what will that be? I don't know. I think, do you like surprises? <laughs> <laughs> now I decide to call him with his girlfriend's number showing up on the caller ID. She lives with him and was home alone at the time. Hi. I'm back. Hello. Well, welcome to stage two. Where the fuck is my girlfriend? No, no, she's still at the house. I'm just, I, I use telephone. 
Who the fuck is this? Yo, look, man, I just want the apology. Can you please just say it? Then we can go our separate ways. Wait, where the fuck is my girlfriend, man? She's fine, man. I told you. She's at the house. She doesn't even know I'm using her telephone. What do you mean she's at the fucking house? Where are you? Yeah, listen, I told you stage two was coming and then you were being difficult, right? Really? I simply asked for apology. What? Look, can you just say sorry uh, with the way I told you to say it? Who the fuck is this? I'm the cab driver. You flick it off, right? You flick it. I flick what? Your finger at me. You flick your finger. You say bad things. I was very offended, man. You hurt my feelings. So I just want apologizing. Where are you right now? <sighs> Look, okay, let's get something straight, okay? I am the boss man, okay? I am stage two. We don't want to go to stage three, right? What are you talking about? Look, Cameron, look, can you just calm down and stop being so difficult? I know you are very stubborn, right? But right now you have a stick up your buttocks. So take out the stick and just repeat what I told you. What is it you want me to say? Hello, I am Cameron, the asshole guy. I am sorry for flicking it. I won't do it again and I respect the cab driver's hippity hop. Uh, hello, I'm Cameron. I'm the asshole that gave the cab driver the finger and I won't do it again. Uh, one last thing, can you just say hippity hoppitus? Come on, mate. I promise you, pinky swear last thing is just for my own satisfaction, hippity hoppers. What does that mean? In my country, it's I'm sorry. No, it doesn't. Yes, I'm telling you, it is slang for I'm sorry. Like my bad doggy in hip hop culture, they say it like that. But in our culture, we say hippity hoppers. Mate, I've said what you said to the last request. What do you want now? Okay, so you are refusing to say hippity Where are you? Listen, listen, listen. Calm down, man. You're, you're... No, no, no. I'm not saying anything more, mate. The, the conversation ends here. Okay. Unless look... you want to tell me where you are right now. Okay, look, let me tell you. Okay, the truth is... Your friend set up a prank on you, and none of this is actually going down. Are you serious? I'm serious, and for one, I apologize for working you up that much, but you were fucking hooked. <laughs> well, I've actually left work. My neck is red raw, and I thought my girlfriend was being held hostage. I, know. <laughs> I told myself that when I was calling you back with your girlfriend's number, I was like, no matter what, I'm going to tell him it's a prank before he hangs up. So when you were like, the call ends now, I was like, all right, I can't push this oh. hippity hoppitous nonsense anymore. I was ready to call the army. <laughs> you are an amazing sport, but the way you reacted when you saw your girlfriend's number on the caller ID was so damn good. Understandably, though, because when oh, someone calls man. you from your girlfriend's number and she's at your house, you're like, who the fuck is at my house? Do you actually remember the guy you flicked off, though? Were you playing a little dumb? I, I figured that when someone... Oh, has... No, no, I did. I did, and the guy was quite reactive, too, and that's why I thought maybe I have just flicked off the wrong guy and this guy is actually going to do everything he can <laughs> to turn my life upside down. Oh, my God. That was so golden. Many, many thanks to you for being a great sport. Honestly, you're being great about it. No, time, that, was, that was really good work. I'm glad I can follow this up with some relief after all that freaking stress I put you through. So yeah, enjoy the rest definitely. of your day. Hopefully the work day goes smoothly. Thanks. Sarah. Later, man. See ya. Oh my God. Fucking prank of the year. Thanks for watching, Mother Yuckers. He's very lucky we did not get to stage three. If you go hamburger on the like button and support this video by sharing it with your friends, I will consider uploading the extended version of this prank, which includes the calls to his friend and girlfriending in between. I really think you will love it. Don't forget to click subscribe to catch the future videos, and we'll see you next Sunday. If yeah. you want to say a few phrases, that's fine. Yeah, I want to just say a few phrases like, hello, I want to go to the bathroom. Hello, where is the nearest bakery? Hello, I want to take you home to my house and do the nasty, that kind of thing. Okay, uh, what's your name? Uh, uh, Buklao. Je m'appelle Buklao. Oh shit.